Let's talk about asset management in Unreal Engine. What I have here is a blank blueprints project where all I've done is save the default map under the name default map and added a cube to the scene. Now, like any reasonable game developer, what I want to do is put a picture of a duck onto that cube. So let's look at sort of the naive approach. We can just go to the internet and search for a duck. Wikipedia says this is a duck, so that's good enough for me. I'll save it on the desktop. Then we can drag and drop right into the content folder. And it looks like what happened is we got a copy of that image in Unreal Engine. But that's not quite right. What happened was we took the original source image and Unreal Engine made for us a texture asset. If I mouse over this, you can see that this is recognized as asset type texture that's in parentheses. And at the very bottom of that pop-up, Unreal Engine is keeping track of the fact that this file is over on the desktop. Now that's really convenient because if I were to change the file on the desktop, I could re-import this texture and see the changes. Let's see what that looks like. What if I wanted this duck instead? This one is clearly labeled a duck. So we'll save that over the other file. Now we can see on the desktop, of course, that file has changed, but over in Unreal Engine, we're still, de still dealing with this duck texture that was already imported. If I right-click on here and say re-import, that goes back to the desktop and updates our texture. Now, imagine what happens if we're working on a team and one of our artists wants to change the duck, perhaps to draw a mustache on it, as artists are wont to do. Well, what we need is not this asset, but rather this original image file. So let's look at a different way of managing the assets that'll solve that problem. Let me get rid of that first. Now, what I'd like to do is take a look at the file system view of my project. Uh, yeah, here it is. So in the project called Raw Asset Management, you see that's this current project, I have my regular folders and files that I expect to see there on the file system. I'm going to add a new one which is, of course, not tracked or managed by Unreal Engine at all, I'll call this to import. And the idea is, all of my raw assets, like my images or my sounds or my static meshes, they can live in this to import folder, and this folder then can be tracked in version control. So, let's copy that over. Now, of course, that is, in fact, just moving the JPEG file from my desktop to another location, because this is just plain old Windows file manipulation. Now, inside of Unreal Engine, I can right-click and say uh, Import. Or, of course, you could get to it from that button. And in my To Import folder, there is my duck. Now, uh, you know, being a stickler for naming conventions, I want to rename this to T duck, T for texture. And if I wanted to actually put it on my cube, I'll right-click and say Create Material. And this will be M duck for material. Whoops. Let's try to get the right case there. And I can grab this and say, duck. Well, at the speed of shaders compiling. There it is, clearly labeled duck. Now I'll use Control shift s to save everything, so that makes sure that all of my changes in memory in Unreal Engine are echoed down to disk, which is important because now we're going to use Perforce to set up our depot. What I'm going to do is make a new workspace. And here I'm in my office, so I like to use my office number. And the name of the project is Raw Asset Management. My root will be that actual project itself. You can see the two import folders in there. And uh, I'm not using the graphical editor because I'm doing some uh, careful mapping here. I want to make sure that this is going to map to a uh, directory I set up for my current semester students here. and we want that to map to the root of the workspace. Right, so that makes sure that everything that is on my hard drive is going to be mapped to this folder within my depot. I'll say OK. It gives a little warning here because there's already files in that directory, but that's fine, that's what we want. From the workspace view, I can see everything I expect to see there. And the ones that, of course, we want to add to version control are config, content, and to import, and the U project. Never intermediate and saved. I'll add those. That puts them into my uh, pending change list. 
And in fact, I'm just going to go ahead and submit those. So we'll call this initial submission. Good, so back over in Unreal Engine. At this point, I'm perfectly clear to connect a source control and, oops, perforce, find that workspace, and we're good. Okay, so now again, let's look at this exercise of uh, the art director says we want to change that duck to a different duck. All right, back to the internet. Let's say, in fact, we want Wikipedia's duck. So we'll save that image. I'll stick it just on my desktop again. And now, looking at the to import folder, I'm going to change that file. All right, now there's a trick here, which is back in Perforce, I have to let it know that I changed something in that folder because it might not notice. So I'll right click on the to import folder and say reconcile offline work. If I had gone through the process of checking out the asset directly from within Perforce, I wouldn't have to do this, but this uh, reconciling is how I deal with these uh, direct manipulations on the file system. So, reconcile offline work. Now, it does a comparison between what it sees on my hard drive and what was in the depot and says, ah, that file, download.jpg, has changed. So, we'll reconcile that, and it gets added to my default change list. Okay, back in Unreal Engine. Of course, nothing has changed here because that to import folder is not directly connected to the project. However, now I can right click on the duck and say re import, and I get my new duck. Once again, I want to be careful to save everything, so I'll use Control Shift S to save everything. Uh, it'll prompt us to check out that texture because it's changed. You may notice that the material hasn't changed because it's tied to the texture, it's only the texture that changed. Inside of Unreal Engine, I might try going to Source Control and Submit, but notice that it is only aware of the files that it tracks. So I need to be very careful here because the change was both within Unreal Engine and over on the file system. So I'm not going to submit that through Unreal Engine. Instead, I'm going to make sure that everything is saved. Then I'll go back to Perforce. If I refresh this view, I can see that my default change list has both the change to the downloaded image and the change to the asset. So from here I can say go ahead and submit this change list. This is change to Wikipedia's duck and submit. So that's the process I recommend for dealing with a project where you have these raw assets that you want to manage. You want to make sure they're managed in version control so that your artist or whoever is serving as an artist on your team can modify the original images and then anybody else from within Unreal Engine can very easily use the re-import feature to get the latest version of those assets. I hope that's helpful to you.